All right, hey, how's it going there, YouTube? So um, I recently had a problem with my RG Model 23 um, Snub Nose 22 revolver, and I noticed that there weren't any videos uh, of the gun. So I'm going to go ahead and do one. We're going to try to do it in one shot. This is a full disassembly and reassembly. Um, things that you're going to need. A pair of pliers, flathead screwdriver, and implements to knock out a pin. All right, so first things first, well, first things first, of course, make sure that the gun is empty, that you're not handling uh, a loaded firearm, okay? This one is empty. So here we go. First things first, we're going to remove the grips. I love these little guns. They're fun. I think they're cool looking old school and usually you can get them really cheap all right so that's just the grips nice and simple nice and easy next thing that I do is I remove the cylinder uh, cylinder comes out with this screw here All right, the next thing is removing this trigger guard. And we're gonna talk about the trigger guard later because it's got some things with it here. So something just to kind of brace. trigger guard off set that aside uh, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the hammer the hammer is this screw right here Oops. Followed up by mm -hmm, fingers failing me. Your main spring, okay? Now, this little washer here is super, super important. Um, if you're having, if your gun's having problems and is not firing when you pull the trigger, that could be the problem. It might not be there, or you might need to put an extra one on there just to give it a little bit more. Uh, strength in the spring all right and then the last thing is the trigger this is the peskiest part uh, there's like four little pieces here two springs all right here we go all right and there you go it all falls apart and wonderful right all right that don't lose that spring. I mean, don't lose any of it, but that's one of those things that can pew, go flying and forget it. Luckily, all of these things, uh, all of these parts here, with the exception of the frame, everything, including the barrel, I'm not gonna take the barrel off. Um, this is all available from Numerich and it's really, really cheap. So um, I'm thinking about just replacing a few parts just to, just to do it, because it's only gonna cost me a few bucks. So anyway, that's the frame, that's it, just like that. All right, so reassembly, here we go. First thing is the trigger. This takes patience. Spring goes in the back. There's a little nipple on the end of this. Can you see that, can you get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that goes on the spring or inside like the spring. And you just kind of give it a little bit of pressure and then the hole clicks on that pin. Okay, 
so the spring's in place. You know, luckily, it'll actually hold it in there, you know? It's not gonna push it out. You don't have to, like, you know, hold it with, with you know, crazy grip. The little elbow spring, short side down, right? Just like that, okay? So then you take this. <coughs> <coughs> Here's the fun part. Oh, make sure this is, make sure that's like that. Not like that, okay? So all those little pieces like that. And then this is gonna drop in the frame. Now, this elbow spring right here just kind of rides up and there's a little channel that you can see down inside. I don't know if we can get it on there, but anyway, I'll show you in a second. So you just kind of slide. You might have to pick up the camera. I might have to hold this different. Okay, you just kind of slide it in. There you go, just like that. And then you can see the little, I'm sorry guys, I don't, I should know my nomenclature better, but the little thing that advances the cylinder. <laughs> okay. All right, and then just kind of hold that in place. Take one of, uh, see, see what I did? That's why this is like pesky. So put it all back together again real quick. Do, 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 like that. <coughs> Excuse me, no COVID. Spring like that. Try to do it left-handed, see if it works. Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> All right, hold on. Like I said, guys, these little things, these little pieces, parts, man, this is not easy. Okay, get this in the right hand. And just kind of pinch it. see that the spring is still on the nipple there okay so next thing I'm going to put the main spring in okay so the little shoulder kind of up put it in just a little tiny bit and hold it put your washer on the important washer Spring. Okay. Right there. All right. So I'm going to go recheck. Um, got it. Okay. I'm just going to go recheck. Make sure this didn't get all fudged up. And it did not. That's all looking good. <coughs> go ahead and drop the hammer in. So. This little piece here has to meet up with a little piece on the back of the trigger. So um, you got to stick that in there and kind of pull the trigger back a little bit. And you'll feel it. Got it. We'll know in a minute. Uh, 
there she goes. A couple seconds to click. Oh. All right, so now we'll be able to test it, see if we put that stuff in right. So this should work like that, but it won't pull the trigger back and it should work like that, but not pull the trigger back. Now that was the problem that I was having, okay? And a lot of people think that it's that little elbow spring, but it's not. Um, so anyway, so when it's, when it's all said and done, if you look inside there, and mine's a little bent, okay? This should be coming straight across, but that right there, can you get in there and see that? Mm -hmm. That right there is the top of that elbow spring. So it goes up in the inside and the little top comes across. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here's the big problem that people seem to have. Is the spring not, or the trigger not returning. Okay. It's because this isn't in place properly. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's all about this little spring here. Okay. It's all about that little spring there. That little spring needs to be underneath the three bits there of the trigger. Okay. That needs to sit right there. So this is the thing that you got to do. You put the trigger guard on just a little bit. Right, you come around and you can see, see the spring. You can see the spring in the hole. Yeah. No. Hold on. Yep, there you go. You see the little white, the little right yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. So, what you got to do is you got to reach down in here, you pull it back out a little bit, you reach down in there with the screwdriver. You push the spring down and pinch up, and that little spring now will be under those three pieces of the trigger. Okay, that's fine. I explained it. I'm not you can do. All right. So then we're gonna put our pin back in for that trigger guard. There she goes. So now you could actually test, you can make sure. Sweet. So now you know you put it back together, now you're in business. Okay, we're just gonna put the cylinder back on. Durr. Okay. There she goes. Right, and now you are ready to use that for your everyday concealed carry circa 1977 look.
Thanks for watching. Hey, hit those uh, subscribe and likey buttons down. I always see YouTube guys say that, so I figure I should just say that. There's probably not anybody listening at this point anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.